Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen what are magic method or what are dunder methods in Python with practical with some programs, right? Now we'll do one coding exercise in this video that is not very tough, very simple one. Now what you have to do, see this is the question, you have to create a bank account, bank account class you can see, right? And generally we all have our accounts, right? So what we do? we have like the that account holder name as well as we have balance we can check our balance we can deposit we can withdraw right and obviously the withdraw amount cannot exceed the available balance if you are in account in your account you have 1000 rupees and you want to withdraw 1500 rupees then definitely it's not possible it will show like not enough money they are not going to give you 1500 rupees right now this thing you have to implement so you have to create a class having two attribute the name and the balance and with two methods that is that are deposit and withdraw now you have to do some operation like some deposit some withdraw and you have to make sure like the withdraw amount cannot exceed the available balance right so some kind of message it will show if this is the case some kind of message it should show like no not enough money not enough funds available in your account so withdrawal not possible this kind of thing right so i think that is not so much tough you can handle this one so pause the video and try this out now okay so i hope you have done this let's try this out let's create a new file so what we need to do you have to create a class bank account right and there i have two attribute so let's have in this in constructor what are we i'm going to have just name and balance right so i'm just going to take passing two parameter like name and balance and the num uh, number of sorry the name of argument i'm having like account holder is equal to whatever the name we will pass and second name same I am taking balance right so let's create first uh, object and let's try uh, object name I am taking like B or simply we can take OBJ this is object of this bank account so what you need to pass name so name let's suppose I am taking like maybe any name like Ramesh and balance suppose thousand rupees okay yeah one more thing when we i'm going to print this object then it should show something like this see it should show something like this account holder name ramesh balance thousand rupees i hope you got this because this thing we have done in previous video only have to find out how to you know return the string format or the string representation of your object these two we have an special special method done the method str so that thing with that thing i can do if see uh, directly if i print this obj then simply it will print this object at this address memory address right but this thing i don't want so obviously print will call str method but this class don't have any str method so we have this special method str we can define it ourselves what it should return it should return or it should print something like this using f string i'm printing account holder name first like self dot account holder name and then in next line for next line we can do like slash n and then it should print balance right so now let's run this see ramesh and this but let's just decorate it something like this first it should show like account holder name this thing and after that it should show, show balance something like this so i think it will look better now 
see account holder name this balance this this is string representation of this object right now this print will ask for the object do you have any string representation of yourself the object will say yes i have this is my string representation so <coughs> this print will call this str and this would be printed right <coughs> sorry next, next thing what we need to do deposit and withdraw make a method deposit and yeah obviously when you deposit there in the bank then you have some amount so let's pass a parameter amount now whenever you will deposit then if your balance is thousand rupees then it will be added to the available balance right so definitely you have to update your balance so what is the thing self dot balance equal to in self dot balance what we are going to add plus whatever the amount you will pass here so it is going to add this one and by chance if you don't pass any amount any balance if there is no balance then by default i want that the balance should be set to zero this thing also we can do so this is deposit and then let's or if you want to print something then a message after depositing then also we can print see if if i don't print any message if this kind of thing is there and if i okay let's do let's print this and after that let's call deposit on this object so object dot this deposit method let's find out and let's deposit 200 rupees right so see it will not print anything account holder name balance this because we have printed this obj and then your deposit deposited 2000 rupees so if you want to check then again we can print the detail see now balance is 1200 so yeah successfully deposited so if you want to print a message after depositing so simply after this you can print deposited and using f string if you want to show the amount as well so whatever amount you have given deposited this much amount to your account or maybe added this much amount to your balance right now withdraw so just definitely we will pass some withdraw amount as well right so same parameter you can take amount amount or different parameter also it's up to you but here directly we cannot withdraw we have to check if the sufficient funds are available then only we are able to withdraw right so you have to put here if condition this is important one here so if your amount whatever you want to withdraw is greater than the available balance so self dot let's check with self dot balance then definitely we cannot withdraw and it should print a message not enough balance else yeah you can withdraw so obviously if you withdraw then this balance should be updated so what it should do from self dot balance definitely we are going to do what minus the amount you have passed right or rather than this you can simply write the shorthand form like this is equal to minus equal to amount this is also fine here also you can write down plus equal to amount right okay so this is the case so after depositing let's withdraw object dot withdraw and i want to withdraw like 500 rupees and after that i want to print again the detail so let's run this see first thousand rupees deposited 200 then obviously we have withdrawn how many how many rupees 500 so 700 balance right or if you want to withdraw then then here in withdraw if this to be executed the else block then it should print here it should give you a message like maybe successfully withdrew or any other message just to show you see deposited this successfully withdrew and this much amount you have 
Now I want to withdraw. Now after that I want to withdraw how many rupees? OBJ dot. I just want to call again withdraw and thousand rupees. But there is only seven hundred rupees left in my account. The balance is seven hundred. So definitely it should print some message. See. The balance was 700 and then after that if you again withdraw 1000 rupees then it will show not enough balance. So this thing we want. Right. So that was a simple exercise. I hope you got this. It's not so much tough. Now according to that you can modify this. You can add different different methods or more attributes and you can play with this game. So you play with this code. Right. But I hope you got this exercise. The solution of this exercise. Right. So now I'll see you in the next video. Then bye. Take care.